Right now, researchers are looking for ways to slow down the effects of climate change, and renewable energy is one key factor they're looking into. And most people associate solar or uh, wind and solar with renewable energy, but Denver Stephens' Megan Lopez shows us that a third option that's very abundant in Colorado lies right beneath the surface. In a wide open field in Elbert County, giants loom in the distance. Wind farms are one of Colorado's ways to tap into renewable energy along with solar panels. But when the wind stops blowing or clouds move in, the energy production pauses. That could be. We call it the invisible renewable. Where a different type of energy steps in. One Colorado is abundant with but has yet to truly tap. Geothermal. So geothermal is referring to heat extraction from the earth and also heat exchange in the earth. It's a process of drilling down into the earth to reach water that can be used for heating, cooling and energy production. So it's got the smallest land footprint of any of the renewables, much less the fossil uh, energy sources. Because of our geography, Colorado and western states have a lot of geothermal resources. Our hot springs are proof. Some areas like Pagosa Springs and this neighborhood in Arvada have started to use geothermal for heat. It's unique because the entire neighborhood is built without any gas dependence. But while states like Utah and California have built geothermal energy production facilities, Colorado has not. That's why this month Governor Jared Polis started the Heat Beneath Our Feet initiative to encourage western states to start tapping this resource. It's also why we don't know <laughs> what exactly it's going to look like in, in 10 years from now. State legislators passed two bipartisan laws this year to encourage its development. Because geothermal is expensive up front, lawmakers are approaching it like solar. We've done great stuff in the past before with solar energy, where we give incentives to homeowners who put solar uh, panels on their house. We have the same opportunity to do that with um, with geothermal. Hoping this could be the future of everything from powering our cities to heating our homes. The bottom line is we have this untapped resource beneath our feet and we could use it. But the first part is helping people understand it. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.